AP Biology, Chapter 42, Circulation, Part 2. Now, you do need to know this, so let's go ahead and write this down. Vertebrates, uh, cardiovascular system, CV systems. We have a four-chambered heart. The atria is plural for atrium, and this is the part that receives the blood, and that's located over on the right-hand side of the heart. Now, this is the patient's right, not your right, so keep that in mind. It's the opposite of your right and left. The ventricles pump uh, blood out, and they're on the bottom. So we have atria on top and ventricles on the bottom. And these are going to pump blood out to various locations. The right-hand side will pump lungs and pick up oxygen and drop off carbon dioxide. The left-hand side will pump to the body cells, and that's going to uh, do a lot more work. And as you can see on this side of the heart, the walls of the muscle, cardiac muscle, are thicker. Then we have the blood vessels. The arteries are always away from the heart, okay? So that's what you have to know. And that's an easy one to remember. Uh, a for artery, A for away. And then they branch into smaller vessels called arterioles. Uh, just a side point for the ventricles, if you ever forget that the atria are in the top and the ventricles are in the bottom, if you look at the heart, where do you see a V for ventricle? Does the V, any Vs up here? Oh, look at that, V. And the, even the bottom of the heart looks like a V. So if you ever forget, remember the bottom of the heart looks kind of like a V for ventricles. All right, and then we have veins. Veins return blood to the heart, and that's going to return a lot slower. The capillaries are the smallest blood vessels, and they're the point of exchange. This is where we're going to have the fluid as well as some of the goodies like amino acids and glucose and oxygen leaving the um, circulatory system. But remember the red blood cells to stay in there. We have a closed circulatory system. Capillary beds are networks of capillaries to exchange stuff. All right, and this is basically how it works. Arteries branch off, and take a look here. This is an artery. Arteries branching, branching, and then become arterioles, which are smaller. And then they become capillaries, which are very thin-walled. Then capillaries combine together after dropping off their uh, amino acids and glucose, oxygen at the cells, and picking up carbon dioxide and waste products like um, ammonia. Capillaries combine together to become venules, and then venules combine together to become veins. And then these veins become bigger veins, like the vena cava right here. And you should know this order, so I'm going to sketch this out. All right, this gets a bit complicated, and you're going to have to go through this a couple of times to make sure that you understand this. And uh, let's, um, let's go through this. We're going to start with uh, one here. And remember, this is the right side of the heart, blue representing oxygen poor blood. And you have to know that as well. So we have the oxygen poor blood, right side of the heart. The first step is two here. This is a artery called the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary refers to lungs. Artery is away from heart. So a pulmonary artery kind of tells you everything. It's going away from the heart to the lungs. The oxygen poor blood taken by the pulmonary artery to the capillary beds of the lungs, exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide, oxygen coming in, carbon dioxide leaving, and then the pulmonary vein takes that blood back to the heart. It tells you everything also. Vein, back to the heart. Pulmonary means lungs. If you want to write down pulmonary means lungs, that's a good idea. The left atrium, remember it's the patient's left. This would be the person's uh, heart on the left-hand side. It's on your right, you know, your right is the other person's left. The Left atrium receives the blood that's now oxygen rich, and then the oxygen rich blood is just traveling a short distance. These are, atria don't have to pump very far. As you can tell, the walls of the atria are very thin. They don't have to do a whole lot of pumping. Now, as far as the oxygen rich blood, atria to ventricle. It's always atria to ventricle, even on the right hand side. Oxygen rich blood gets dumped into the ventricle, and then the ventricle is going to give it uh, a big push. The left ventricle is going to push that blood to this really big artery called an aorta. The aorta is the biggest artery in your body, and that uh, comes right off that heart. The oxygen-rich blood now is going to be uh, transferred to the systemic circuit. The systemic circuit includes all the cells of your body. The pulmonary circuit only includes the lungs. Pulmonary lungs, systemic, all the cells of your body other than the lungs. So now we're going to deliver that blood to all the cells of your body, drop it off, interstitial fluid, all that good stuff, pick up carbon dioxide. And then we have the vena cava taking that um, blood back to the heart. Vena cava located right here. Remember, veins return blood back to the heart. Vena for vein. Uh, and a side point, right about here is where the lymphatic system enters the uh, circulatory system. And we'll talk about that in a future chapter, uh, so don't worry about that for now. 
Once the oxygen poor blood returns the blood back to the right atrium, we are going to dump that blood into the right ventricle, and um, we've traced the blood from the right ventricle to the right ventricle. So I'm going to take you through this one more time really fast, then you're going to pause it, and then you're going to take it through um, the systems step by step. Do this several times until you can do it by memory. You do have to know all the steps here. All right, step one, oxygen poor blood. Actually, why don't you repeat after me? You can uh, do this inside your head if you don't want to say it out loud. Step one, oxygen poor blood pumped from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery takes the blood to the lungs. Lungs are going to exchange gases, and then the blood enters the pulmonary vein back to the heart. The pulmonary vein takes the blood to the left atrium. Left atrium dumps the blood into the left ventricle. Left ventricle pumps the blood to the aorta, the biggest artery in your body. Aorta is going to take the blood to all the cells of your body. And then at the capillary beds, we're going to pick up waste, return it to the veins. The veins become the vena cava. And then the vena cava returns blood to the right atrium, which will dump blood into the right ventricle. Once again, right side of the heart, oxygen poor, carbon dioxide rich. Left side of the heart, oxygen rich, carbon dioxide poor. All right, pause at this time and take this uh, one step at a time through the pulmonary circuit and the systemic circuit, two circuits. This ends part two of your notes on chapter 42, animal circulation.